Hi, I'm Micah Johnson, Operations Manager with Solar Connection. Today we're going to be putting up a 5.3 kilowatt solar electric array on this garage roof. We chose the garage roof because it's south-facing, has good sun access, and this system will provide reliable electricity for decades to come. From the time we pull up to your house, we treat your property with respect. We keep the job site picked up, we keep our tools neat and organized, and we do our work in a professional manner. If possible, it's nice to have one parking space in your garage for storage of the solar modules and equipment while we're working out there. And up to the roof. The first step is to measure out the roof very carefully and make sure we get everything where it needs to go. We attach anchor points right into the roof trusses. Then we flash in the anchor points so it's completely waterproof. On these mounting feet, we'll attach a rail system. All the equipment is aluminum and stainless steel, designed to last the lifetime of the system. The mounting system is designed to withstand 90 mile per hour winds, which is the code requirement for our area. Next, we mount the inverter in a place that makes sense for the installation. Usually this is in the utility room or the garage. Okay, we've got the inverter up. We chose a Solar Edge system. Solar Edge has the Solar Edge inverter and Solar Edge DC optimizers up on the roof. The optimizers give us some shade mitigation as well as a great online system for monitoring the entire array. We chose the Canadian series inverter because it's rated down to 40 below, which will be fine for anything we're gonna face in this garage. This system is a very flexible system, so if they were to ever add on in the future, we can make that work. Next, we install the power optimizers. There's one of these for each module. We have to get the power from the roof down inside the building, so we install a flashed solar junction box. We also install the meter and some other equipment outside the home. This will be done in a neat and professional manner. Okay, we've got the meters in. There are typically two meters on a solar electric system. One is the production meter that measures the solar production, the electricity coming in from the solar array before it goes anywhere else in the house or anywhere else. The other is the bi-directional meter. This measures power going both directions, power coming in from the utility at night and at times when the sun isn't shining, and power going out to the utility from the solar array when the solar is producing more than what the house is using. The wire we use to connect all the components together, we pull through conduit. We are finally ready to install the solar module. These will be fastened to the rails using stainless steel clamps, again, all designed to withstand 90 mile per hour winds. We take our time to get these in perfect alignment. The final look of the solar array is very important to us. We chose Solar World 280 watt modules for this installation for a few different reasons. First, we wanted a very high quality American made product. We also wanted a company that would stand behind its warranty. Solar World's been in business for over 35 years, and when they offer a 25 year warranty, it's important to know that, hey, they're the largest American manufacturer of solar there is, so that's something really good that they're going to be around. Also, the durability of these modules is important. I'm not going to beat on somebody else's module here, but I did bring a demo Solar World module. And they should pretty much make it through any hail that Mother Nature might throw at them. After going through inspections and getting it all approved, we are ready to commission the system. First, we turn on the utility disconnect, connecting us to the utility, and then we turn on the inverter. The inverter screen has all sorts of information like power and energy output, and the system also comes with a great web-based monitoring program. You can see what's going on daily, monthly, yearly. You can even monitor it from your smartphone. The system is really great because you can see what each module is doing in 15 minute increments throughout the day. The system also has a great playback function so you can see 
what it's been doing over the last week and watch it throughout the day as the sun comes up and goes down. Thanks for spending a little time today with the Solar Connection install crew. Hope you learned a little something about how these systems work and how they're put together. Hope to see you on the roof.